Hi, I'm Vanessa with the Newport, Oregon Public Library, and I'm here to tell you about another book in our juvenile collection. This one's actually a realistic fiction. It's called A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. So this tells the story of two children. One is a boy named Salva Dutt, who lives in 1985 is where our story starts with him. He's actually a real person, and that is a picture of him with the author. So Salva Dutt is one of the lost boys from Sudan's Second Civil War in 1985. Our second character is Naya, and she's actually a fictional character, and she's based on um, the many, many girls living in Sudan. So Salva's story, his story is, is traumatic. During a regular school day in 1985, shots ring out in the village and his class and his teacher, they hear these shots. And his teacher actually says to the children, run, run, get out of here, all of you run. Don't go home, don't go back to your village. The soldiers will be looking for you at your villages and in your homes, um, so stay away, hide in the bush. So Salva actually does this. Um, he has no idea where he's going and he runs and travels for literally years in the bush. Um, he walks from Sudan into Ethiopia and then down into Kenya. So it takes him years to get his freedom. So our second per person in the story is Naya. And Naya's story starts in 2008 and we follow her. She actually travels every single day to collect water for her family to drink clean water. And it takes her eight hours to collect enough water for her family to live. She has to walk on foot in the Sudan heat two hours to a pond and then two hours back. And she does that again in the same day, two hours there, two hours back. So eight hours every day, Naya walks in the heat collecting water for her family. She doesn't get to go to school. Um, she doesn't get to do any of the regular things that children that you would expect children to do. Uh, however, she is keeping her family alive. Uh, so what's gonna happen to Salva? Uh, is his family alive? Does he ever get to reconnect with them? Um, how can Naya continue day after day? And, and how are these two stories connected? So you can learn a little about the history and the culture of Sudan um, and their constant struggle for, for clean water. Um, something we take for granted here. I don't think I'll ever look at a glass of water quite the same after reading this book. So it's an incredibly moving story um, with a really strong message for every age. I highly recommend that you get a chance to check out A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. It's available at the library and also digitally on your devices at home. And I will see you at the library.